my channel so in today's video we are going to be creating these summer beachy waves they're nice and fluffy they're nice and just bold and they're gonna last you three to four days and the best part is these were achieved with the Primark waiver so if you haven't got your hands on it go into store and check it out see if you can find it because this has been my go-to go to hairstyle for summer. So if you want to see how I created these beachy summer waves using the Primark waver, then please keep watching. Okay, so as you would have seen from the intro, I am going to be showing you how I do my summer beachy waves. Now I tend to only use this hairstyle when it is summer, just because it really does give like sea salt beachy waves this is my natural hair well it's my natural hair brushed out so my hair is quite curly now you can strain it if you like or you can blow dry it straight however i find that because my hair is naturally like curly i get a bit more volume if i just leave it to dry naturally and style it from when it is naturally dried versus either blow drying it straight or straightening it before I go in with the waver. So before we start, the first thing I wanna show you is the products that I'm gonna be using. So the actual waver itself, I actually got from Primark, pennies, whichever you wanna call it. I got it last year. I'm sure they'll 100% bring them out for this year. So this is what it looks like. It is definitely smaller than the Molly May one. And to be honest, I kind of prefer this one over the Molly May one because I don't have quite long hair this one just holds my hair a lot better then of course i'm going to be using heat protectant i just use the tresemme heat defense care and protect spray now i won't be using this today but you can if you want it is the squirts off squirts go off squirts cough got to be glue hairspray i personally don't need to use hairspray when i wave my hair i tend to only use hairspray if i'm curling my hair obviously standard you need a hairbrush and then at the end, if it is a bit frizzy, I will just use some hair oil. This is just the Gizu Honey Infused Hair Oil, but any hair oil will do. So what I'm actually going to do first off is I'm going to plug it in and I'm just going to turn it on. This it doesn't have a heat setting on it, so it only goes to one temperature, but it gets pretty hot and pretty quickly too. Like that's already, yeah, it's already starting to get warm. So what I like to do is I like to section my hair and I like to do it the exact same way that I section my curls. So what I'm going to do after I've sectioned it, so I'm just going to brush through it. I'm going to spray some heat protectant in it. The reason that I'm doing this before it even heats up properly is because what I see a lot of people doing is they spray heat protectant and then they don't let the heat protectant dry in their hair and then you hear that like little sizzle or you see the smoke from the hair and that is because you haven't let your heat protectant dry so you're actually frying your hair more than if you even weren't using heat protectant. So I've seen some people use the waivers this way that way i have a specific way that i'm going to show you that i do i take quite small well not quite small but small enough sections and you want to keep it with this part facing away from your face i grab it i'm using the viewfinder as a mirror which is really dodgy and i just clamp it now you're probably thinking leah why are you doing a tutorial on this and the reason is is i had no idea how to wave my hair until one of the girls that i worked with actually got this and told me how to use it and honestly you wouldn't think it's as difficult but you wouldn't think it's as simple i thought you know you'd move this down and then you do this section then you do this section but you don't i'm leaving this in my hair for about 10 seconds and then when i unclamp it as you can see there's already imprints and what you're going to do so obviously the first tongue whatever was in that imprint here so this one there what you're going to do is you're going to move the next tongue so the one beside it back into that imprint so if i show you if i take this off i'm literally moving it down one and putting it back in and when you are doing this you will actually feel the ridge of the waver going into the imprint so up into the imprint see the way like my hair kind of like just flings into it. and that is what you should end up with so like i said you want to take small enough sections if you have the bigger barrel you can obviously take bigger sections but i have the smaller one pop it in clamp it down like i said for about 10 15 seconds depending on how healthy or dead your hair is is going to depend on how long you're going to need to hold it and then again up barrel into the imprint go down I hope that's making sense. This tongue was in this mark. This tongue was in this mark. So now I'm just moving it down one and it's basically reprinting that first tongue's mark. I really hope this is making sense. This definitely is. And then when I lift this up, you'll feel it. Like when you have your waiver, you will feel it. And then lift this up, 
into the next imprint and you just do it the whole way around your head now the only difference that i will talk about is when i get to the top of my head that's when you want to really be more specific with how you use your waiver if you wanted more volume you could turn your waiver this way and it just adds a bit more volume but for me because i freshly washed my hair it's already pretty voluminous but say you're on like day three or four hair and you know your hair was a bit flat because it's so greasy you could just flip the barrel and it'll give it a bit more volume just with the way it's layered but i just think this is so nice for somewhere it gives me such beach vibes it gives me you know day drink vibes it just oh i just think it's perfect okay so as you can see there is a massive difference now between my straight hair and the wave side so what i'll do is i'll just let that cool down while i'm doing this side so i'm just going to show you again in slow motion what i do on this side back in we go cramp down hold it for 10 to 15 seconds and again, it's not like with a curler where you have to like, you know, wrap it away from your face. This all goes the same direction. So you don't have to worry about that. So it is a lot easier than curling, I find. So like I said, I'm opening it. I'm bringing it down to the next imprint, clamping it down. So you're just following wherever the last prong was, you put this prong again. But you'll feel it as your waver goes down, runs down your hair. And if you don't get it right on the bottom layer, don't worry because your bottom layer is always hidden anyways. So if you're worried that it's going wrong on the bottom layer, usually once you've done it a couple of times, so as you can see, it took me four pieces to do this side. It'll probably take me four to do this side. But once you do the bottom layer, the more pieces you do, the more comfortable you will get. Um, so then by the time it gets to the top layer, you'll have perfected it so therefore the bottom layer won't even matter because no one sees your bottom layer so don't worry if you know on the bottom layer it's not working out and you're like this is going to turn out shit just keep practicing on the bottom layer do each piece and as each piece goes it'll just get better but trust me you can't even mess this up okay so that is the bottom layer now done so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go off camera do the rest of the layers until i get to the top layer i know you're probably like Leo, what the fuck we're meant to see the whole head but it's just gonna take me forever but i'm telling you you just do the exact same thing that you did on the bottom layer for the next couple of layers and then you do the same for your top layer but i'm just gonna talk through about why you do that for your top layer so i'll talk to you then okay so as you can see very much so i have waved the rest of my hair so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna flick that behind and pull down the rest of the hair that is on top of my head there's only one way that in my opinion you should be holding your waiver when it comes to your top layer and that is only just because to avoid that line that you can get on the very top of your head that it just it makes it so obvious that there is an indent in your hair whereas if you do it the way i'm gonna do it it just flows from your like straight hair at the top to into the wave so the way on this curler anyways or not curler i keep calling that curler on this waver anyways is one way and this is the way we were doing before which is facing out you might want to spend a little bit longer on the top layers as in leave the barrel on a little bit longer just so it really presses in that wave and just so it looks a lot a lot more defined because i find that when you're outside so like wind or you know even humidity i find it messes up the top part of your hair a lot quicker than it'll mess with underneath obviously because that's what's gonna come into contact with the element first just even if you want to leave it on maybe like five seconds longer and it'll just really really hold it in and make that wave really defined also guys um when you are like doing the wave itself don't pull on your hair like that because what that'll do is it will straighten out the wave that you've just done so kind of hold it up so it like sets almost really curly as opposed to being pulled and stretched and you're just gonna loosen that wave that will just ensure that your wave stays wavy what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna time lapse you doing the rest of my head and then i'll come back to you at the end Okay guys, so the hair is all done. However, she's looking very, very, very wild. So 
this side is still warm so i'm going to show you what i do on this side you can either choose to use your oil or not use your oil but again like i said the oil is just going to tame the frizz just a little bit more so once i run my fingers through it what this is going to do is it's just going to separate these waves you don't want to brush it you just want to use your fingers because your fingers are a lot softer and it just separates them blends them together and just makes them look a nice and like loose and bg see the difference personally for me this is too tight like way too tight so i'm just gonna take a little bit more oil and do the other side now i'm just gonna start at the back and very loosely run my hair or my hair or my fingers through my hair so guys i really hope you enjoyed today's video i really hope this helped in how to achieve your summer beachy waves obviously this technique is going to differ depending on the waiver that you have but yeah if you guys like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye